day when you see the wicked crowd, the rays strutting and boasting themselves, know that their victory is empty. That is, for all that they declare that they are, that they will be, it is not true. For I say it is me, the living God, who reigns supreme, and it is me, the living God, who lets the wicked fill up their cup. Then I say that I bring upon them my wrath, my fury, my indignation, and I say they are destroyed. I say this day when I, the living God, do give the call to all to repent, and men will hear and obey me, then I say they are brought in unto me. But I say when men will stubbornly, proudly refuse me and go on in their own headstrong ways, I say they are determined to death. That is, they are determined to destroy themselves, they are determined to live and die in death and remain forever in the same. That is, they are determined to find themselves in hell. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am at this time fully in control. And I say when wicked men will mock and scoff and make light of me and act as though I am not because they think they have won against me, no, they are drunken fools. For I say they are drunk, intoxicated, and delirious on their own pride. And I say because of pride their hearts are far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call men to mock me nor stop me, but I say that I've called men to walk humbly before me. And I say that I've called men to repent, to turn from the wickedness of their own understanding, and to walk uprightly in my way. And I say when men will do as it pleases me, then I say they are found abundant in me. But I say when men are walking according to their own understanding, they are going in the way of fools. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to go in the way of fools, but I say that I've called you to come forth in my way. When I say that I've called you to be thankful each day that it is me you can look to and believe. Now I say in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation that it is me, the living God, you are meant to believe in day by day. And it is me, the living God, you are meant to follow after, for I am the one who will give unto you newness of life. And I say it is me, the living God, who will direct you and correct you and bring you forth that you can indeed be thankful unto me. That is, if you enter into and remain in repentance, revolution, then I say you are guided forth by me. Now I say, when any man will listen to the ranting and the raging of his own carnality above me, then I say that he's listening to the fool. And I say, when you see the fools who are parading themselves, boasting and bragging of their great victories against me, know they are nothing but clowns. For I say, the day comes when I, the living God, will bring them low, there will be nothing left of them. And I say, for all of their bragging, for all of their so-called victories, I say they will be proven to be the fools. For I say it is me, the living God, who does reign supreme. It is me, the living God, who is the ultimate power that rules in this earth. And I say when men through their pride think somehow they have gained the power domain, I say they are drunk on pride and acting out the foolishness of the same. For I say when men are proud and when they are drunk on that pride, I say they cannot see what it is that is happening at all. For I say they are merely telling themselves how great they are, boasting in their conceit, and I say they will end in death. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my true people to believe the lies of the liars, but I say that I call my people to believe in me. That is, to ever keep their faith, their trust, their confidence in me, because it is me they are meant to please. For I say when the ones who are mine will keep on trusting, believing, and hoping in me, then I say they are guided forth in my way. And yes, they are given the strength, the truth, the blessedness that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do call you to walk uprightly. I say that I call you to walk circumspectly in me day by day. That is to be coming forth in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I offer, for I am well able. For I say when it is me that you will continue to believe, to trust, to obey, then you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the hope and the peace, the strength, the safety that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy intended. And I say when the people will keep their focus ever upon me, then they are guided forth by me. And yes, they are given the strength and the truth, the blessedness, the mercy that I provide. And yes, they will be guided by me, the author and the finisher of their faith. I say this day, consider the privilege that I, the living God, do give to you to walk uprightly in me day by day. And I say, consider the privilege that I, the living God, do offer when you walk in the way that I have intended for my own. 
For I say it is a good thing, a sweet thing, a blessed thing To be brought forth, to be uplifted, to be ever guided in me And I say it is a sweet thing to be knowing that it is through me That you are given the truth and the light, the mercy, the hope and the peace day by day now I say, therefore, this day continue as a steadfast people who are ever looking unto me, believing in me and trusting, no matter what the circumstance. For I say that the ones who keep on trusting, believing and hoping in me will not be made ashamed. But I say that the ones who are indeed swollen on pride and blabbing and grabbing and declaring and strutting and boasting, I say they will be proven to be the fools that they are. And I say it is because their hearts are far from me. Now I say this day in a time when the wicked are rising up in great power or so they imagine, know that they are nothing but blinded fools. And I say likewise the ones who think they will be the champions against the wicked, yet I say they have not subjected themselves to me, they will be proven to be fools likewise. But I say that the righteous who remain in me, I say they will know the victory of who I am. And I say they will come forth by a plain path for it is me, the living God, who will guide them in the same. Now I say this day, be thankful that you can continue to keep on trusting, to keep on believing, to keep on following after. And I say, be thankful that you will indeed be uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. For I say that you will be given the strength and the truth, the blessedness, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. And I say that you will be given the light upon the path, for it is me, the living God, who will give to you the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended that the ones who are mine would succumb to the taunts of the wicked, for I say that I intend that my people will keep on trusting me. That is, you are not meant to bow down when the wicked will declare that I am not, that I am not, that I am not with thee. But I say you are meant to realize that they are nothing but fools who are filled on demons waiting for their own destruction and damnation of soul. No matter what it is that they spew forth, they are damned nonetheless. But I say when you keep your faith, your trust, your confidence in me, you will see that I'm able, you will see that I bring forth, you will see that I shall prevail. And yes, you will see that it is me, the living God, who is the one who reigns triumphant and victorious, the one who is supreme. For I say that men may plot, they may scheme, they may pull their agendas and think they have won through me, but I say it is not true. For I say that all that they won is the course of their own damnation. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am the one who raises nations up and brings nations down. And I say when the nations forget about me, it is me, the living God, who does bring them down. While the wicked may take the glory, the credit for the same, it is me, the living God, who humbles nations. And I say, when men have forgotten me and grown proud and arrogant and independent of me, it is me, the living God, who will cause them to fail. It is me, the living God, who will cause them to be humbled. It is me, the living God, who will bring them low. Therefore, I say, when you see the strutting fools who take the glory unto themselves, know that their end is likewise near at hand. That is, that they too shall be brought low and be proven to be mere men. For I say, it is me, the living God, who reigns supreme. It is me, the living God, who is the all-powerful. And I say that my glory does remain. And I say that my people are not meant to grow angry nor accusatory against me. But I say that my people are meant to keep hoping in me. That is, ever keeping their confidence in me. Because it is me who is able, it is me who will bring forth. Now I say this day, be glad that you can keep serving and loving and obeying me, the author and the finisher of your faith. And I say, be thankful that it is me that you can look unto, believe in and trust, for I am well able. For I say, if it is me that you keep on hoping and trusting and looking unto, you are not made ashamed. But I say that you are uplifted, guided forth and directed by me. Now I say this day, be glad that you can continue to love, to serve, to obey, and be ever guided forth in my way. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to go in the way of the stubborn, the proud, the foolish, who bring to themselves their own despair. But I say that you can be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in the newness of life that I provide. And I say that you can be given the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy that can only be found through me. Therefore, I say this day, be thankful, ever thankful to believe me, to receive of me, and be brought forth in me, for I am thy God. And I say, be made glad that you can partake of the privilege that I give time and again. For I say it is a privilege to be forgiven, 
It is a privilege to continue in humility, and I say it is a privilege to live in and declare repentance, revolution to a sin-sick, a perverse, a dying world. Now I say there are many of false champions who are rising up and declaring that they will never be moved, that they will stand for me. But I say the sad thing is they have never stood for me, but they have stood for the God of self. And I say they are covered in the covering of Babylon's Jesus, which permits them to do any old thing they please when they please. Then they are declaring they are standing for me, but I say they are foolishly blind in the same. For I say they have not stood for me, they have not refuted the God of self, they have not rebuked the tenets of ungodliness, but I say they've gone along with the same. And I say they've partaken of the party, they've partaken of the debauchery, the stupidity and the blindness, then all of a sudden they claim they are champions for me. But I say it is not me that they serve, but I say they are serving the God of self. Now I say that all proud boasters will be proven to be fools, but I say that the ones who are steadily righteous, I say they will be brought forth. That is, the ones who are ever looking unto me, trusting and believing in me, for I am well able. And I say it is me, the living God, who will bring down the proud, the haughty, the high-minded, whose hearts are far from me. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct, correct, and instruct the people who are indeed serving me. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad for the privilege to continue to walk uprightly, for the privilege to be partaking, for the privilege to be brought forth in the light, the life, the strength of who I am. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to go in the way of the foolish, but you can be brought forth in my way. And I say, be thankful that through me you will be uplifted in that which I give you time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, if you are coming forth in the way that I intend, then you are ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy that I provide each and every day. I say this day, be thankful for the privilege to love me, to serve me, and obey me, and be brought forth in my way. And I say, be thankful that through me you are given all that you ever have need of, for I am the I am. That is, I am able to direct, correct, and instruct the ones who keep their focus central that is upon me. And I say that I'm able to guide forth the ones who are ever confident in me. Therefore, I say this day, be glad that you do not need to go in the way of the foolish, that you do not need to be found under the feet of the damned. But I say that you can remain trusting and believing in me and knowing that I am well able. For I say there is nothing that is out of control for this evil of God who reigns supreme. And it is evil of God who will utterly destroy, devastate, and damn the wicked who have chosen in opposition to me. Therefore I say keep your confidence in me and know that the end of the wicked is near. For it is me the living God who brings them down. I say give thanks, give praise. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled at the people's feet. You are the light of the world. The city is God is God relentlessly is putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in gathering. Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now's the time to take action and get active in the war to rescue souls. Don't take your scabs. You'll leave a scar.